Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Temperatures started around 40 degrees this morning, and for many locations, we have stayed in the 40 today thanks to a lot of cloud cover. We're at 49 degrees right now in Huntsville and Decatur, 48 in Scottsboro, Muscle Shoals at 51. Look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. It's a pretty quiet picture. We're still picking up on a couple of stray showers here, kind of forming in this line from northern Lawrence County all the way down into Marion County and watch what happens here as I put this into motion. These showers are tracking from the north towards the south and a lot of this is not having much of an impact at all. A lot of it's not reaching the ground. If you look at the wider view, you'll see that the rain that we've got in place, most of that is focused farther toward the east and the cloud cover is slowly but surely starting to push out of the area. We will clear as we go through tonight and the temperatures are going to be cold as a result. 33 degrees by 2 a.m. By 6 a.m. We are down to the freezing mark. I do expect some outlying areas to get as cold as the upper 20s and with that in mind, with that clear sky and those cold temperatures, I would expect a little bit of frost waking up on our Wednesday. So give yourself a couple of extra minutes to defrost the windshield, warm up the cars tomorrow morning if you are heading out the door early on Wednesday. And by the afternoon, it's really not much warmer. We've got this dry cold front that's moving through early tomorrow. So it keeps things chilly, keeps that wind out of the north 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your forecast high at 50 degrees, but we will have sunshine. And I keep saying it's going to be chilly. It's pretty close to average for this time of year. But just know that the temperatures, they do not stay that way. Watch future radar as we go through the rest of tonight. I keep telling you that the cloud cover is going to be moving out. That's what you see by 9 o'clock. There's your clear sky through the rest of tonight. The one thing that may prevent a little bit of frost formation is going to be the breeze. So kind of keep that in mind. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, we start our Wednesday with sunshine. We keep it through the afternoon into the evening. It's clear tomorrow night as we head into Thursday morning. Even colder waking up Thursday, but Thursday afternoon is really when we start this warm up. We'll have plenty of sunshine for both Wednesday and Thursday, and the temperatures start climbing as we head into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Speaking of, look at your forecast here. Numbers haven't changed very much from the last time we looked at this yesterday. 67 on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, that's a high near 70 more of the same on Sunday. We've got sunshine in our forecast. There's a slight chance for a shower Christmas Eve night into early Christmas morning. The overnight lows in the low to mid 50s, they're actually closer to the average highs this time of year. We're not going to be setting any records or anything like that, but it's just going to be unseasonably warm and pretty good weather to maybe go for a walk after dinner on Christmas Day. Seven day forecast shows us that we hold on to those slightly warmer temperatures, mid to upper 60s Monday and Tuesday, and then we bring back that chance for a shower. Within the next seven days, I really don't see much of a washout kind of forecast, just spotty showers here and there.